Alright, so right now there's this big fad about speedrunning that is all over YouTube, and I decided why not try to join, but it's not like I can speedrun Mario or something like that, so why not give it a try to speedrun Victoria 2. I took a look at the leaderboard at speedrunning.com, and I found out that, uh, well, whoever's already trying speedrun is doing an incredible job, because... I don't think there's a way I can match that quite yet, but I decided maybe if I create my own special category of speedrun, uh, I could have a good chance to get a world record. I don't know for how long, I don't know if someone also tried to copy, and generally I don't even know if I actually want to submit this run as trying to create something new. Uh, basically what I was planning to do is a speedrun to the first American Civil War. And what is a little bit dumb about that specific speedrun is that it's not that dependent on actually playing well the game to uh, try and maximize the way you can achieve the Civil War. Uh, you have a set of criteria you need to reach and they're fairly easy to reach and easy enough at least that uh, most players should be able to do it around the same time for a specific reason. Two of the specific criteria that we need are events that happens before the Civil War and once these two are true then you get a chance every month to start the Civil War. Both of these events are highly dependent on the upper house composition and both of these events are John Brown's Last Raid and Dred Scott vs. Sand Ford. These events will only require you to be the United States to have slavery as legal, to have at least 10% of your hopper house as liberals, and then both of them have a very specific condition. So the game's events depend on mean time to happen. And for these two events, they share the same pattern. Uh, before 1845, it's 200 months mean time happening. So the event show up ends within 200 months, which is about 10 years. Uh, actually, I mean, 15 to 18 years, that's the mean time for both events. After 1845, it goes down to 10, 100 months, which is uh, about 8 years, 9 years of times uh, before you get to see either events. After 1855, it goes down to 50 months, and to 1816, it appends around 10 months. So that's really just basically percentage uh, if it's at 200 months, it means you have half a chance, half a percent of chance each month to get the event to trigger. So really, before 1850, uh, you have very limited chance to be able to trigger the American Civil War because both required events that need to be realized beforehand are very unlikely to be triggered before that moment. But once both of these are triggered and you are finally able to get the house divided event, the mean time to happen for that house divided event is about 20 months and uh, after 1845 goes uh, to 10 months and after 1860 goes back to 5 months. So this one is very highly likely to happen a couple months following the second event you get that trigger, as long as all the other flags are true also. So basically really, once we are being able to trigger both main events, uh, we have the principal house divided event that needs to be triggered and the main thing that can stop you from triggering it uh, will be the composition of the hopper house. So the tactics I've been using to ensure that we have a fair proportion of liberal occupying the upper houses is to actually uh, use the national foci to force people to convert to the Liberal Party. Doing that allows me to ensure that a proportion of the electorate actually moves toward the Liberal Party, so the yellow on the map. But forcing a political change into the country uh, does give us a couple of challenges. The main principal challenge will be, of course, that the elected party uh, might not be the ideal one to lead the nation. Uh, this isn't so much a problem because once we get the split of the civil war and 
both country are divided uh, we finished the run so I don't really care for long-term stability in fact I'm just trying to get the civil war to trigger as fast as possible but there's always a risk that rebels for other causes like anarcho capitalists or anarcho communists or anarcho whatever they fucking care about uh, might destroy my hopes of getting to new heights of high liberal and hopper house stuff with reform rollbacks and stuff so i'm trying to keep as high as possible consciousness and as nicely as possible militancy going on into the country the main way i do it is by ignoring decision that reduce the actual uh, consciousness so the united states has a lot of decisions that allows you to reduce the consciousness of your country because also the more high consciousness your country has the more likely you're get your your you will get events related to the civil war which i'm not exactly sure if it's all i tied in together properly to make it working as designed to actually work in the civil war but i thought it was a pretty nice touch you know to just keep the country in a constant state of civil war until it all breaks apart for for good for the first american civil war so that is pretty much the line i'll try to follow uh, so depending on the type of speed runs in victoria 2 you have three different speeds run category that exist uh, the first one is in game time so it's actually the date in game where you reach the uh, specified objective so example if it's uh, april 12 1861 then uh from january 1st 1836 to that date uh that will be the number of years and, and months and days it took you to reach the objective there's also real-time categories and there are two different uh, the first one is real-time no speed 5 uh, because in victoria 2 when you put your timer on speed 5 you're actually unrestricted the only restriction you have for simulation of the world is the power of your cpu so if you have a pentium d you probably will get slower time than if you have the, the latest thread ripper uh, working all power to generate and simulate the world every population and stuff so th that can be a pretty bit unfair uh, going speed 5 because it really depends on the hardware you're running uh, but if you go on speed 4 while it is constant across all hardware in I'm not exactly sure if it is but it seems to be uh, because speed 4 is atrociously slow so there's actually that no speed 5 category that exists for real time so you count the actual time or there's also uh, real time unrestricted which means you're allowed to use the speed 5 like the run I'm doing right now because quite honestly I tried to run on speed 4 but after 30 minutes you're like an 1838 so it's just it's just not possible to actually have fun playing this game at that actual speed but otherwise uh, as I mentioned before due to the constraint of the objective we're trying to reach uh, it's more about a game of waiting around and uh, not getting in a bad spot. So I decided to add a little bit of a spice into the speed run, just, you know, to, to try and twist things, to make them run a bit smoother, to make it seem more like I'm actually trying to invest into a real um, full American conflict. So I try as soon as possible to go and trigger the different events and categories we need to uh, get manifest destiny because with manifest destiny as the united states when you get that decision you're actually gaining cores over all the territory that mexico occupies that is now modern day america so once you have that uh, manifest destiny you can freely declare war on mexico and capture all the lands to unify continental usa as it is in the modern day so the war with mexico while uh, maybe slows down a bit the speed run uh, is not really complicated so the american army while not 
ultra powerful at that point in the time and was still quite competent enough to crush the Mexican army, especially considering they were already at war against uh, the United States of Central America. Uh, that made them very vulnerable to another attack, another front opening up in the north. And we were able to quickly swoop in, uh, destroy some of their troops and conquer the entirety of the territory we're, we're aiming for. And while I was not able to catch, I think, a glimpse of Colorado early on during the colonization game, uh, I was able to, with Manifest Destiny, reconquer the entirety of the core land we have in a single war, so I didn't have to go to war twice against uh, Mexico. Once the war was done, um, that pretty much it was it for the excitement of that speed run. Uh, the rest of the run is mostly clicking stuff around, developing a bit the country because otherwise it's just, you know, staring at a screen. I could technically have uh, just opened up a menu and stared at it for a long time. And I think it would have been a good strategy because it will allow me to uh, reduce uh, the amount of data that the game needed to load while playing. And as I, you could have seen, I was trying to colonize uh, British Columbia against the United Kingdom, but I just retired my troops because it was reaching a boiling point and I didn't want to start a useless crisis at that point versus the United Kingdom. So now I'm well engaged into the uh, USA-Mexico war to liberate the American lands from imperialism of the Mexicans people. and. Uh, I'm losing my great power status because I, I was not able really to follow up with the rest of the country since I'm really more concentrated on going through as fast as possible uh, through the time to trigger that civil war than actually building up the country. But I, I was able to keep it under control even though I lost for a short while the status of the great power and it wasn't really that important at that point because you don't need to be a great power to get a civil war, you just need to meet all the other conditions. So the war with Mexico did take a little bit of time. Uh, it, as I said earlier, it was probably not that necessary, but I felt like uh, it was an obligation to actually go and engage into uh, making sure that the entirety of the US continental system was included in that civil war. Just feels like it's the patriotic things to do. And I kept on with the uh, propaganda for the liberal machine, making sure that uh, the population was leaning more and more toward the liberal side. Um, I spoke a bit earlier about it, but to give you more details, the objective is that the more you have a large amount of population being pushed toward liberal side and they're getting higher consciousness, they, they're more likely to be pushed toward that electoral side, uh, allows the different states to become more likely to be liberal states. And these liberal states uh, allow us to control the upper house because the electoral system that the United States has in this game is that the upper house is represented by two pure states. So the more liberal states you have, the higher percentage of the liberal house will become as uh, liberals. And as mentioned before, being at 40% of the upper house as liberal is a condition uh, to start the civil war so we want to be sure to reach that objective and keep it at that point and you got to be careful because there are some instances for example if you have a large rebellion or you start passing reforms quickly um, it's possible to lower the amount of liberalism into the upper house temporarily at least until the next rearrangement on uh, january 1st of the next year which might not necessarily be an issue most of the game but if you, you're you nearing the point where you will actually uh, trigger the civil war, it can become quite an issue to uh, lose that 1% you needed and have to wait an extra 5 or 6 months. Uh, it can be a complete run changer for exactly what we're going for here. 
And another pattern I've noticed while doing this run is that the United States has a crazy amount of spam. It seems like there's eight different events like this one, Sessionist Sentiment uh, that pops up and it pops up for every single little city, uh, sub province, province in a statey thingy. Uh, so you end up getting a lot of pop-ups until the Civil War and uh, Like I said each of these province can have like eight different pop-ups showing up and you have to click through all of them And it gets really tedious. So I think that works a little bit in my advantage in that specific speedrun because You probably have to be quite crazy to actually try that speedrun. It's not that it's difficult It's more that it's quite a grind to actually pull it out <laughs> and to be honest another quite a grindy thing i'm doing right now is actually i'm reviewing that footage with you right now uh, well not at the same time because you're probably not watching at the same time but i'm going through the entire footage and after about 15 minutes of discussing with you about the objective and the different stuff about this specific piece run uh I'm reaching a, a stalemate point because I got about 30 minutes left in this video and I'm wondering whether I start cutting it up, trying to chop up uh, some parts to make it quicker or if I go and upload the integral 45 minutes part of the speedrun which will make it like an extremely ironic thing just thinking about the title of this video that will be speedrunning Victoria to American Civil War and video blamed being like 45 something minutes with the big thumbnails and big timer and just knowing that probably most people will not watch more than 20 seconds of it but yeah, you know just make me glad to to actually be able to enjoy my time making this video uh, taking about uh, more than two hours total work time to actually do and pull that out but the upside is that it gives me quite a good time to be able to discuss about a little bit more of things. Uh, so as I said just a couple minutes ago, there's a lot of pop-ups that's really annoying when you're playing the United States. It's just, it's non-stop spamming. Another annoying thing I've never really noticed before now recording this video again, uh, I mean speaking over voiceover the video of the recording of the speedrun, is how little the music is so when you play victoria 2 you get used to the music you keep hearing it you keep playing it but when you're just watching blank footage of with the music in uh yeah it's it seems like it's always the same song coming back again so thank god for the different dlcs that uh, had a little bit of music even though it's copyrighted and there's a chance that since it's included in the game playing in the background and if i'm recording the sound and everything there's a chance i get either a copyright strike or just somebody from uh, the civil war music whoever made that song robs me from my youtube monetization about speedrunning civil war stuff uh, due to a song they wrote 150 years ago. We're living in such enlightened time like the comet will tell me. But otherwise, if I actually look at the different speedruns that are on Victoria 2 speedrunning, let me just pull that up live right now with you because I'm, I'm at the point I'm just trying to gain a little bit of time and speech for nothing. Uh, because I still have a long time to fill with this video, but don't worry, it will be fun and exciting. I, I'll just stop if I don't have to. So, uh, here are different types of speedruns for Victoria 2 that are actually existent. Because this American Civil War is not an existing run, which is logical, because let's face it, it's boring as hell. Uh, one that does exist is to form Germany. And if we will look at the uh, real time any percent, uh, real time no speed 5, it's 27 minutes 52 seconds by Xarxos, which is incredible. Uh, if we look forming North Germany, uh, it's 10 minutes 53 seconds, and I think it's probably from the same run because uh, these are the two submission and the two are at the same time. Uh, forming South Germany is 5 minutes 22 as Austria, which is not that surprising because. Uh, here again, it's uh, like no speed 5 that I'm talking about. 
Uh, so it's actually pretty decent. It's, it's pretty quick. Five minutes when I think about it. Uh, we also have Forming Italy, uh, which is 20 minute, 22 minutes, 28 seconds as Sardinia Piedmont, which uh, is a bit, uh, a bit slow, I think. I'm not sure. It's, it's no speed 5, so that might be it. And there's no unrestricted run that exists. So it's not that easy to be able to, to say exactly uh, how much it is. And I'm not sure also because it's any person, so I think it's just getting the Italian tag. That's uh, 22 minutes, which uh, I, I'm not sure because if uh, it's uh, Italy Irredenta, uh, that's probably a run where it includes getting the tag of Italy and every core, then uh, RTN Restricted is 54 minutes, which is big 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 fat time increase about 30 minutes more with no restriction on the speed 5 and that includes the territories in Austria so that's probably what took most of the time I could try to check out the videos but uh, I don't really have the time right now another uh, speed run that exists is forming Scandinavia uh, Scandinavia is 7 minutes 23 seconds so it's actually pretty good and there's also, oh, I'm sorry, I was looking at unrestricted speed 5, 7 minutes. Uh, real time, no speed 5 is 24 minutes, 35 seconds. So another good run. Uh, these are pretty hard. I'm not even sure I can pull it in that time frame. Uh, forming Scandinavia and Victoria 2 is, is not that fun. If you're playing as uh, Sweden or Norway to a certain extent, that's probably the most fun you'll have, but you're never in a good position until you become Scandinavia. And when you do, most of the time, uh, the entire planet is somewhere else. And it, that somewhere else is called Africa. And it's too late for your little port, Danish port, uh, to be of any use for the colonization. After that, we got Forming Arabia, which is 6 minutes 8 seconds on RTA No Speed 5. And unrestricted is 2 minute 48. So uh, starting as Nedged, I think the uh, the strategy to use to form Arabia from Nedged is to conquer a jazz and to uh, get the name tag because uh, that's the any percent. All cores is not fulfilled. And I think all core Arabia is quite a challenge to actually speedrun. I don't even think you have enough in 100 years starting from Nej and conquering all of Arabian scores. I think that's just crazy madness. Uh, so yeah, basically Nej unrestricted 2 minute 48. That's a very quick run. Uh, what I assume is you start as Nej, you declare on uh, Evzar. How is it called? I mean, the, the little country on, on the side where Medina is, and uh, you you invade them, you conquer them, and I suspect you're stuck at war with Ottomans because they're in the Ottoman sphere already. Ejaz, sorry, yeah, Ejaz, the right country. So you invade Ejaz in two minute forty eight, and uh, you you clock it once you're done, and you get out of here because there's no way Nash can win against the Ottoman and. 1836 1837 that's just crazy thinking uh, there's also a speed run for forming India that exists any percent completely empty there's actually no one ever attempt to form India and to be honest if you look at the different options you have to form India uh, unless you're starting as the United Kingdom I think you are gonna have quite a challenge at Victoria to to, to pull that out uh, last speedrun category is westernization and if we look at uh, real time no speed 5 as Japan 20 minutes 17 seconds so that's actually pretty 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 impressive wow 20 minute no speed 5 uh, what I assume Xarxos who, who owes a lot of records did he probably conquered Korea uh, to gain like if you gain one of the early technology you get some 25% uh, conquest RP stuff uh, You get a quickly a second tech to get 50% and uh, You could uh, I'm not sure how, how you can pull that Because even that 20 minutes no speed 5 
Like the only thing I can really see that will make sense is to conquer Korea and then you'll be stuck at war against China. So if you peace out China by liberating Korea, you can go and conquer again Korea. I think that that will be a strategy to use. Uh, I'd actually would have to take a look to see what was the actual strategy used as Japan to get to westernization 20 minutes it, it has to be quite aggressive one uh, second one is a uh, kangaroos as 44 minute 19 second as a Y uh, which is just you know waiting around uh, if we look at RT unrestricted for westernization it's 8 minute 57 as a Y so that's just uh, a bit similar to the run I'm doing right now uh, you just speed five on pose click ok on every pop-up and you just you know have no fun for eight minutes nine minutes something uh just to to achieve a speed run well you know it's it's uh, an attempt like i'm doing here so everything everything includes every time whatever and there's a a misc rta oh what is that Oh, so there's one last run that exists, ladies and gentlemen, and it is called Any Percent. And if I look at the rules, it's simply that you have to start a game and reach the end screen as fast as possible. And you will not believe it, but world record is 2 seconds, 800 milliseconds. So that's actually pretty fast. I think I can, I'll, I'll give it a try. Any percent, two second, AD millisecond. All right, so he picks a Y, press start, and quits. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's about what I expected. So, uh, two minute, eighty milliseconds. Uh, basically, the guy pick a Y, start a game. Uh, once in the game, just escape, resign that's it so it's okay it's not it's, it's weird there's a lot of participation a lot of people that summit runs for that it's probably the most popular speed run which makes sense because it's literally a couple seconds but it's just so weird as a, a speed run category uh, I understand like my speed run is not that impressive because it's mostly based on random time scale uh, events that go on so it's not really skill based ev stuff that that's going on but that's like th there's an aspect of skill in resigning as quick as possible but it's just i don't know it's it's a special speed run i don't want to down talk it because it's still quite a feat two seconds 80 second 80 second but yeah, that's pretty much all the categories for the speedrun that exists. And th that's quite a lot. That's quite impressive. And uh, there's, there's a fair number of speedrunners. Of course, if you go look at uh, classic Mario Bros. or Sonic games, you, you have like hundreds of submissions, like top 100s. Meanwhile, Victoria 2, most of the different speedrun, you got a uh, one or two submission. So I'm actually curious, would anybody be interested in me trying one of these, either forming Germany, Italy, Scandinavia, Arabia, India, or westernizing? Uh, if you're curious about me trying out one of these speedruns, or maybe another game like Earth of Iron 4, Earth of Iron 3, if I, if I can get back into that weird game, uh, just drop a comment and let me know that you got that 28 minute 52 seconds of the video asking for a specific speed run and you know what since you actually bothered to watch that video to that point and listen to that i might just do it you might just also ask me whatever else video i might just do it as well because uh, you see man i'm just running out of ideas you're making speed run of victoria too it's a uh, it's a whole new world man it's just crazy well, otherwise, to go back on our regularly uh, scheduled podcast of Victoria to spectacling the run, uh, hopefully you guys are having nice uh, Christmas, uh, New Year, early days. It's uh, it's like getting late December as I will post that. Maybe you'll be watching that, and it will be like Christmas, 
2028 but uh, right now it's Christmas 2020 and uh, everybody will be staying at home and most of the world thanks to the coronavirus hopefully we won't have to hear much of that anymore in the future but yeah you know it's gonna just happen like you see on the screen all these rebellions at once against the mask wielding a uh, vaccine brandishing evil vaccine of the virus or whatever but yeah let's not go into that field because that will just probably tank my actual watch time of the couple of three or four people that actually go on and watch throughout my video thank you very much i do sometimes wonder who you are but thank you man i i love your uh, dedication to watch my old video whoever you are uh, so otherwise for video subject uh, I'm trying to up up my amount of videos uh, if you've been around the channel for a while you know I've had a period different period where I was making videos at a certain rate uh, in the past uh, like around early March when the, uh, the, the the pandemic hit hard, uh, I started increasing the amount of video due to the gain time I got from not having to commute to work. Uh, so I was able to produce a lot of video in April, uh, in May, in June, and then I slowed down until September, and then uh, it has been a bit slow. And I, I'm starting picking it up uh, back, posting more videos. Hopefully you've been enjoying the content. If you if you did, make sure to drop a like at this point and uh, make sure to subscribe and share it to a friend because that uh, maybe it doesn't seem like a lot, but it does help a lot. It's just crazy amount of support. Uh, even one like just changes my world. Well, maybe not that much, but you know what I mean. Man, I like seeing these big numbers going bigger. You know number printer going up but yeah let's go back into Victoria too so as you can see uh, we're, we're getting some uh, Jacobin rebellions and this is actually the second time I'm doing that playthrough of the speedrun for the American Civil War uh, the first one I tried to realize it as a no speed 4 which was a total mistake because after an hour it's it was like 1840 and it's just i don't have the patience for that so uh i canceled that run and I, on top of that i accidentally put in speed 5 but i canceled that run and uh, i start again unrestricted because uh, i feel like that's actual what the, the the rush we're getting off speed running and at this point in the run i'm starting to get the pressure because the the, the years are going on uh, it's now 18 let me just uh, get that all right 1850 so uh, and as you can see I've been working on liberalization of the land uh, it's getting piss yellow so Jeb 1850 election uh, everybody for Jeb uh, but the, the pressure starts to mount up because from 1850 uh, the odds that you're actually getting the events are much higher uh, and you also start to get a lot of rebellions that start to pop up Jacobins and uh, anarcho bullshitters. Uh, so you got to be careful. You, you got to start treading carefully. This is probably the hardest part of the run uh, because due to the RNG nature of the events, uh, if you don't get near a point where you feel like you're going to get one of these event pop up uh bold event popping up relatively soon like before 1860 honestly i think 1860 is just too late unless you have a very fast computer uh, but you need to be getting nervous because if it if you're like one hour at that point and you still don't have the sec the first pop up uh it's very worrisome but otherwise uh just keep going on uh, just keep building up some forces the reason i'm building up forces is really just to keep these uh and i'm very happy to see the confederate liberation movement popping up i'm trying to suppress it do you hope it comes back stronger but uh I, I don't know if it's a bug or something but i was not able to suppress it 
And uh, now I'm also trying to jungle, you know, a bit the, the rebellious people by giving them a little bit of reforms, but trying to not do too much at the same time because I want to keep my hopper house very liberal and uh, just, uh, you know, investing money, uh, all these pop ups coming up is just starting to get on my nerve because 35 minutes starts to be a long run. Is it like uh 75 percent true throughout through the way or is it maybe just halfway through the, the time you have to expect it to to be valid that you get all the events pop up uh these are all questions that are going through my head as i'm playing the game right now and you know fr from a far off perspective it looks like a crazy thought to, to be like Ah, why you're so bothered by about speed running Victoria 2? You don't first you don't have competition. Two, it's not hard. You picked like probably the easiest uh, speed run to do. You you don't even have to do anything. You just have to to survive and uh, <laughs> read the American Civil War. But you know it's just uh, I want to go to to get a good good content for my channel by doing these type of uh, meme videos. So just working hard hardly working on that uh, and it just it just and the amount of pressure doing that video was crazy because first it was the the second time as i said i was recording it and i uh, just wanted to to get it to pop i was i was worried really that uh for some reasons it would not trigger like i, I forgot one of the settings one of the condition was not present uh, that would not allow it to to pop up and uh, get the event started and get the house divided uh, whatever you never know with this type of game maybe uh, accidentally click some option somewhere that just stops the civil war to ha from happening by by putting illegal slavery I don't know I don't, I don't remember every single decision I'm just, I'm not even reading at this point. Uh, I mean, the entire run, I haven't read a single of these pop up. It's just always the same one to start. But who knows? Maybe one of them will be different and uh, we'll get a, a crazy outcome like that. And I really just, uh, it's a waiting game. There's nothing more I can do, there's no action I can really take. Uh, like mexico is not a problem the uk hasn't really been a problem i don't know if i show it a bit later or if i already showed it but i look at my relation around europe everybody seems to be liking me to a certain extent uh, so i was not having any problems with my neighbors that uh, could get me scared of being invaded or whatever threatened by any other superpower in the world um so I just concentrate on keeping my uh, prestige up, my industry up, uh, a good solid military force to defend myself against rebellions and uh, everything was going as expected on rollerblades. I just kept pushing more liberalism throughout the country uh, to ignite that civil war. and. As I'm looking at remaining time, we're getting very close to actually reaching that point. So I'm just trying to get more national foci uh, out there just to push that liberal identity onto the people and uh, make sure they adopt that doctrine that will just tear apart the country because it requires 40% for some arbitrary reason in the Hopper House to allow us to go through the civil war which when i think about it is just crazy because if you're able to keep the hopper house lower than 40 percent liberal you, you while you could trigger both of the different incident since they only require 10 and it's pretty hard to keep it under 10 but keeping it under 40 will stop house divided to trigger and that just means you can go through as the united states having slavery legal until 1836 was just it's crazy crazy idea huh never know what uh what surprise you can be going through 
And as you can see, it's always the same pop up. It just drives me crazy. I don't know why you will want that until 1836. It hasn't even been 20 years in the game, and I'm just tired of clicking these dumb pop ups again and again. And now we have a small Jacobin Rebellion. So that's actually pretty, pretty correct. Uh, what I don't like about these rebellion at this point, well, first, as you can see, I was creating troops. So now they're trying to move around and they, they engage like uh, one division against one division, which is not good. Uh, if you attack as one simple division, there are high chances that your army will fail, especially if it's just cannons and stuff. But uh, one of the big problem with Jacobin Rebels at this point is it's possible they just pop up with like 250,000 soldiers out of nowhere. And they can crush your military train army. Uh, it just makes no sense in my mind. I mean, I, I highly doubt that uh, some random rebels could be able to crush a, a standing army. But... You know, it's Victoria too, and they, they're going to have some uh, challenge in there. Uh, so yeah, I keep uh, going through the population, uh, keeping that liberalism up. It's 1855 now, so we're nearing the end very soon. Uh, we will any moment now uh, get the two preliminary... Uh, events that happens both john brown's raid last raid and uh i don't know scott dread versus sanford i don't know much about these two events like their actual historical uh signification i i suspect they're they were pr fairly significant if they're included into the game and made as like big monumental stepping stone for the civil war I mean, you're, you're paying a DLC just for these two events and the third one. Uh, but yeah, they, they, any time now, they will pop up. Because as mentioned before, once you reach 1855, uh, there's an increased chance of these events to show up. Uh, so we're getting very close to that point. And actually, I'm, I wasn't really paying attention to the video. It's possible one of these showed up, but uh, in a few moments, we will know for sure. But right now, it just surprised me then that I was able to speak for 42 minutes non-stop about speedrunning the first American Civil War. And I actually pretty much like that. It's such a meme saying the first American Civil War. Like, dude, what do you mean first American Civil War? What are you trying to imply? Yeah, that's the joke, if you didn't catch it. I know there only has been a single Civil War, uh, so just... It make it funny to say speedrunning the first one. That implies there might be a second one. We never know. Uh, hopefully not, because let's face it, it's not it's not something nice. No matter how, how much you hate your neighbor, uh, how much you hate the other side, the the, the other party, uh, I don't think civil war is quite the answer you're looking for. Because uh, I don't think either side really wins uh, in that. It could solve some problems, but I'm pretty sure will make things way, way, way worse before they get any better. And I'm pretty sure they'll be getting better because everybody will live through that second civil war. Uh, will have been uh, long forgotten. Not in a mean way, but just died in peace. And uh, new people don't think about it anymore. And they're on track on their own third civil war. But that's just some uh, daydreaming about uh, crazy, unlikely uh, political shit going, hitting the fan. So don't worry too much about it. Just uh, look at that, all that yell on the map, man. It's just crazy. 1857, getting that mm, beautiful liberalism. Republican Party now, by the way. So we got Lincoln. Lincoln is almost in there now. Uh, just a crazy amount of work, uh, just a crazy amount of pop-ups, it's just crazy man, it just never stops. I'm just waiting to see my beautiful big eagles pop-ups showing up. Those those are the one you want, because the big eagle pop-ups mean that uh, you are 
able to progress in the actual speed run and at that point that's all i'm waiting for progressing the speed run uh otherwise pff, nothing is going on man i've been just clicking pop-ups for 45 minutes at this point uh my my brain has been fried and melted very solidly at that point and oh here we have john brown's last raid so we i think it's the first event that we're getting in january 1858 uh, let's see when the second one will be popping up. Should be any time now. Uh, now, now the the stress really shoots up, rockets up. Uh, it's just like never stopping. You know, the, the the earth rate doesn't show on the screen, but must be in the eight hundreds or something like that. Just a crazy amount of stress. Just click, 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 click. Just get it going. Just get it going, man. It's it's the real. Speed speed run spirit that kicks in actually i think john brown's raid was the second uh, big pop-up event because uh looking at the time remaining i don't think there's another one that'll pop up and we never know i'm just waiting man for that moment that that one last click boom civil war started uh anytime now really stress going up man through the roof i can tell you it's going up just watching the video with high anticipation we're now november 1858 still no civil war so we're nearing a critical oh that's it november 20th 1858 a house divided uh so we start we get an event that starts the civil war at 45 minutes 43 seconds and 96 milliseconds so that is my speedrun record and if you look, well, yeah, I pick I pick the southern side. Uh, their troop got crushed, but who cares? I'm not gonna play that. It's just uh, funny to see such a big ass CSA man with no troops at all. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That's my actual run.